Tommy. Thomas Angelo. Detective Narman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Jump, we're dead, but you don't get to walk away. I don't want any trouble. Well, you got trouble. Drive. How the hell they knew we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? <clears throat> One for now, but there'll be more. Say Hold tight. I'm gonna try something. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. The leg, okay, up there. It hurts like... You got a death wish or something? It hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up to die. I don't know, it might be okay. He's getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. That'll slow him down. I don't care how you do it. Just shake him off. <clears throat> that was your shortcut? I lost him, didn't I? Not all of them. <clears throat> These guys really don't like you, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. <clears throat> Quit yapping, Polly. The more he knows, the more chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Give you that. They must have sent word out. There's more and more. More of them. We're not gonna last long unless we're back on our own turf. Let's get back to the neighborhood. Ah, uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? Yeah. We can make it. Just sit tight and pray. Never done that before. 
Me neither. Okay, so Little Italy. Now. Your night's not over. I didn't see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Okay, we're close. A little over in front of that bar. Celieri's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. Envelope. I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him.
Look at this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. Thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Salieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Call you, son. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas grills hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Cabby. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? Nah, you don't lose your job that easy. I hate it. Chi è lui? Il razzista, ricordi? Ah, sì, sì. Come back later, with Polly or Sam. The bars are closed for you, I'm afraid. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. We make sure we're well healed for when there's for troubles. Well, we're grateful for his dough. We gotta go. Long drive back north.
my joint of Vincenzo. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Rennie. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. I want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets engines to purr, but I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Polly, you can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sh 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 show up, Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said. Ralphie here's a crack deck. But you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I wanna show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. Hey, it's their cars we're wrecking today, not this junker. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Stings a tin can! So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay, as long as we're careful. An eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through. You want a bottle? Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. There's tables, and there's food, and there's skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. We're getting on to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, 
and his guys work North Park, and more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Okay. You go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Job, yeah, so. like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there someday. No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and shoot them from behind. I'm real good at distracting. It's the best thing here. Ah, the boss gets plenty of guys in the city real pissed. Makes them careful. I get the money on time. Ah, he's good for it. What am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? Who are you? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told him. Dino? Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give Morello a black eye. And Dino makes you guard the cars? Listen, fella, who are you? You... <laughs> there was this one time when I had the chance to get... <laughs> Let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. I'm not gonna do it for you. Use the bat, Tom. Come on, Tom. We're up against it here. Use the bat, Tom. She looks out for all the other family. Ah, that's great. No one's driving that again. Ah, oh, crap. Get away from the car! Ah, the down, you, you got some kind of death wish? Hmm? <laughs> Come on, Tom, quick! There's gonna be more of them! Use a Molotov and let's see some planes! Yeah, he got that nice and good. Use the bat to finish him off! That. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you keep. Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. Take. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. 
Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bulls show. They're shooting. Don't let him get away! Come on, you bastards! Ah, oh, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? You lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Okay, we lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. Drive safe. They're still looking for us. What part of stay out of sight wasn't clear? We're almost in the clear. Almost. Drive careful, Tom. We don't need more heat. We can't risk cops near the barn. We gotta lose them. All officers, search is called up. Repeat. We're good. Search. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Salieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A b -b better car with a b -b broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. He's still with you then. Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella, he's a hothead. And all of that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business.